Hi there, this is Pablo and I'm a certified Zendesk support admin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Salto's free tool to export your Zendesk macros and make build changes on them. Now, before I show you how to do that, let's just talk about why you would want to export your Zendesk macros. You may want to create a backup of your Zendesk configuration. Maybe you want to make bulk changes across your macros. For example, you may want to change the terminology that is used in your macros. Or you may want to translate them. So you want to export them, give them to a translation agency, and then import them back up into Zendesk. So let's see how we can do all this using Salto's free app. All right, so the first step is to download the Salto CLI, which you can find in our GitHub repository. So depending on the operating system, you can go to the releases page and then decide which one you need to download. So if you're in Windows, you would choose this one. If you're in Mac, this one and Linux, then the first one. Here's an example of what you would do if you were using Mac. You basically create a Salto directory, you download the release, and then you create an executable file. Once you've done that, you should be able to use the Salto command on the terminal and you should get something like this. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder here called Zendesk Backup. And now I'm going to go into that directory. And now I'm going to do Salto init. And I'm going to call this Zendesk Prod as my first environment. And that's it. Now this initializes this directory as a Salto workspace. Now what I need to do is type in salto service at Zendesk support. And this is what I need to do to log into my Zendesk account. So I'm going to enter my username, my password, and my subdomain. Great, so now I've logged into my Zendesk environment and now all I need to do is salto fetch. And now what's happening is Salto is downloading all the configuration of your Zendesk instance. So once everything is downloaded, I can type in ls and there's a new directory here called Zendesk support. So I'm going to go into that. And now I'm going to use VS Code to open it up on that directory. Okay, so here we're in Visual Studio Code and now we can see all of our Zendesk configuration is here. So let's look at one of the macros here. And now you can see all the details are here. I can see what are the actions that this macro executes. I can see if it's active, I can see the name, and I can even see what are the comments that this macro is adding. Now, if you're wondering, this is not JSON, this is actually called NACL, which stands for not another configuration language. Now you will notice here that not only did we download macros, but we also downloaded all the Zendesk configuration. So we have ticket forms, ticket fields, and triggers. Let's look at one of the triggers here. And there you go. We can see again the actions and the conditions. All right, so this is the first step. We have downloaded all of our Zendesk configuration. Now let's see what we can do with it. So let's say that I want to rename the term support engineer to success agent across all my macros and across any other Zendesk configuration. Again, ticket fields, triggers, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for support engineer here and I'm going to replace this with success agent. That's it. These are all the locations where I want to change it. In this case, we have dynamic content. We have one macro. We even have a view. And if I click on one of these, I can see the differences. I can see this is the previous version and this is the new one, which has success agent at the end there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click here, replace all. And that's it. Now, all I need to do is go back to the terminal and type in salto deploy. As you can see, Salto has figured out everything that has changed and is basically everything that is different in your Salto workspace compared to your Zendesk instance. So in this case, again, I can review what changes are making. I'm changing a dynamic content, a macro, a ticket field, and a trigger. All right, so I want to deploy these changes, so I'm going to hit yes here. And that's it. Now the changes were deployed to my Zendesk instance, just like that. Another scenario is where you want to keep your configuration in GitHub as a backup. So what I'm going to do is I've gone to GitHub here and I'm going to create a new repository. We're going to call this backup Zendesk. 
and then create repository. Now I've gone back to the terminal and I'm going to do git init, git add, then git commit. This is just a commit of all the changes. And now all we have to do is go back to the instructions here and I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. That's it. Now, if I refresh this, there you go. Now again, just like that, I have all my Sendus configuration backed up in GitHub. And that's how easy it was to use the Salto CLI to manage your Sendus configuration.